In this example, we have ourselves a matrix equation here. We have a little bit of scalar multiplication thrown in, and we also have four variables, A, B, C, and D, for which we're going to solve. So let's go ahead and start by doing this scalar multiplication, and then we can add these two matrices together, and then we'll see what we have. So we'll go ahead and rewrite this first uh, matrix. So a and three, negative three and d minus five are going to be these entries. And we're gonna add to that this two by two matrix, but I'm gonna multiply all the entries by two. So the negative five becomes negative 10. The three b becomes six b. The six becomes 12 and the one becomes two. And Adding these two matrices together will give us, and we're going to take this scalar multiplication by negative 3, and do the same thing, just distribute it through to these entries. So negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. Distributing this negative 3 across both the 2c and the positive 1 will give us negative 6c minus 3, and then negative 3 times negative 3 will be positive 9. Okay, so that's what that looks like. And then let's go ahead and actually do the addition here on this two by two and two by two matrix. We can add them because they are the same dimensions. So we'll just go ahead and combine using addition all of the corresponding entries. So it looks like a plus a negative 10 will give us a minus 10. And three plus a six B will give us three plus six B. And then negative 3 plus 12 should give us 9. And d minus 5 plus 2 should give us d minus 3. And we see that now we have a couple of equivalent matrices. So we have this 2 by 2 on the left side equivalent or it's being set equal to this 2 by 2 on the right side. So I know that when I have equivalent matrices, that their corresponding entries will also be equal. So I'm just gonna go one entry at a time and set them equal to each other. So A minus 10 equals negative six. Three plus six B equals negative nine. Okay, let's go ahead and tackle those first two and then we'll go ahead and find the last two. So I'm going to start by adding 10 to both sides of this equation to get that a all by itself. And it looks like a is going to be 4 because negative 6 plus 10 is 4. And here I'm going to subtract 3 first from both sides to kind of start getting that b by itself. So 6b it looks like equals negative 12 because negative 9 minus 3 is negative 12. When I uh, divide both sides by six, I see that my B is going to be isolated and negative 12 divided by six will give me negative two. Okay, so now I have two of my values. So I, now I just need to finish up by finding the value for C and the value for D. So nine can be equal to negative six C minus three. So I'll say nine equals negative six C minus three. And finally D minus three equals nine. Okay, so let's go ahead and solve these. The final two, we can start by adding three to both sides in an effort to get this C all by itself. So it looks like 12 equals negative 6C. So when I divide both sides by negative 6, the C is isolated on that right side all by itself. And we see that C will equal negative 2. And finally, let's get this D isolated and solve this equation. So D equals, all right, looks like 12, nine plus three. So the four values that we have, we have A equals four, B equals negative two, C equals negative two, and D equals 12. Let's go ahead and plug these back into our original equation and just kind of verify that they work. Okay, so here we are back at the top. So we said the value for a was 4. So 4 plus, and we have twice negative 5, so 4 minus 10 is negative 6, and negative 3 times 2 also equals negative 6. So we're good on a. 
So the B we said was negative 2, so this is 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, times 2 is negative 12, plus 3 is negative 9, and negative 3 times 3 is also negative 9. Okay, so the B works as well. And we said the value for C was also negative 2, and that value for C is going to be right over here. So 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, plus 1 is negative 3, negative 3 times negative 3 is 9, so hopefully what we're going to have is 9, so negative 3 plus twice 6, so negative 3 plus 12 is 9 as well. Okay, so 3 up, 3 down, and let's go with this last one. We said the value for D was 12. So 12 minus 5 is 7, and then plus 2 should be 9, and negative 3 times negative 3 is indeed 9. So we're good to go. So given that equation, here are the values for our variables.